Welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video, we are looking at the article regarding Blood Money, which is releasing on the 13th of July. I wasn't going to cover this. I looked at the trailer. It was very vague as to what was going on. Like It was a really, really chill sort of trailer. There were explosions and stuff happening, but it didn't really explain what this DLC was going to be about, like what this update was going to be about. So if we have a look at this, it says, earn your blood money across a series of daring robberies. I mean, it was made kind of obvious that's what was going to happen in the trailer, but it never put any depth behind it at all. So new opportunities and more coming in next week's Red Dead Online update. And I will be playing this stuff or we'll be trying it out. However, I'm disappointed with something that we'll go through in this article. So it says, step into the burgeoning criminal underworld of Red Dead Online blood money, blah, blah, blah. Prove you're willing to get your hands dirty in service to some particularly notorious and well-connected members of San Denis society. So scrolling down, it says there's whispers, blah, 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 right-hand man, underboss. They need gunslingers of strong constitution, the recover a valuable commodity. It was originally devised as a unique system of exchange for more sensitive business dealings away from the watchful eyes of the tax man. Blah, 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 blah. Martelli is purely focused on results. Entry into this world of more civilised crime requires nothing beyond the trusty sidearm and the willingness to use it, and no upfront investment is required. In other words, we're going to give you this content for free, no gold bar purchases or anything like that, which makes it sound really good. But then you go further down. Crimes and opportunities. So this stuff is going to involve cloak and dagger coach holdups to multi-stage robberies. That's the range of crimes that are going to be involved. They will include kidnapping, brutal debt collections, and more. So you can do these as a lone gun or with a full posse. And during each one, you'll keep a keen wit and search high and low for signs of capital to return to Martelli, including from hidden chests or on the remains of those who have crossed your path. As you traverse the plains in free roam, you may hear of unlocked homesteads and vulnerable camps ripe for the picking and begging to be relieved of a capital stash. And then it carries on to say that accumulating enough will reveal opportunities. And then you get down to this part and it says the first of three opportunities will be available on July 13th, while two more will unveil themselves in time. So this is going to be similar to the legendary animals. It's all going to be drip fed. Typical rock star. They just always do this sort of stuff. You're going to have one opportunity available when this releases. That is not acceptable. This is like, obviously, I, I believe there's going to be more to it because it says the first of three opportunities, but they're opportunities that will reveal themselves once you've accumulated enough capital. However, if we look at this, there's a type of work known as crimes. So how many crimes are going to be in there? We don't know. There are multiple different things to this update. It's not just the opportunities. It's not just the crimes. However, it's bad that they are drip feeding this stuff because the crimes are probably going to be like you're going around, you're doing your debt collection and stuff. It's just going to be a series of different missions similar to what you do with like the bounty hunter. You go and you do different bounties like hunting for the people. You bring them in. It's just going to be your repetitive gameplay. And when I say repetitive, I mean it's, it's going to be something you can repeat. You can do as many times as you personally feel you want to do. Then the opportunities, and you've got to remember this is Rockstar. They thrive off their microtransactions, the shark cards in GTA, the gold bars in this. These aren't going to be really, really rewarding. Or that's at least what I think personally. So you've got the crimes. You can probably do them as many times as you want to. Then you'll have the opportunities. There will be three of them. With only one coming with this update. And I don't think that's right. Especially because there are only three. It depends on what these are. For all we know, the like debt collection and stuff could give us intel about these opportunities. In terms of like we're making money for Martelli. And we're doing the very basic, simple sort of stuff. And these opportunities will be your multi-stage robberies. Your coach hold-ups and things like that. I have a funny feeling they're going to give the very basic stuff and then make us wait for the really good stuff. We'll be able to do one opportunity, which will be really, really fun, really entertaining, and it'll want to, like, it'll keep players wanting to play. However, there's only one available, and I don't think it's going to be repeatable. Not entirely sure. This is all just what I'm guessing based on the history with this game because, I mean, it took, what, like a year and a half for heists to first come into GTA? We're almost like three years on from the release of Red Dead. 
And I really don't agree with Rockstar still drip feeding, especially with the amount of time has been since a proper update for this game. But scrolling down in the article, you then have the Quick Draw Club. It's going to be a series of four distinct rapid fire passes arriving in consecutive installments over the coming months. Purchasing each one entitles you to rewards, bonuses, and items to help live life on the fringe of the law, starting with Dutch's outfit, the Red Cliff. With each consecutive one you purchase, you'll get additional perks and rewards for continuing the journey. Each one's going to cost you 25 gold bars, all of which you'll earn back by completing the pass's 25 ranks. As an added bonus, players who purchase all four will receive the upcoming Halloween Pass 2 for free. So they're doing everything they can, making it a little bit cheaper. It's going to be consecutive installments. If you get them all, you're going to get the Halloween Pass for free. You also get Dutch's outfit in there. They're doing everything they can to encourage people to buy into these. And yes, you're getting your gold bars back. But if they don't release a lot of interesting content, players won't play through the entire pass that comes with the game. So they might not get all 25 gold bars back and eventually it might lead up. Like They might even do it so it's a lot of XP per level. We don't know exactly what they're going to do, but I believe they're doing this to try and encourage gold bar purchases to get players excited and to make their extra money. If they had released all of the opportunities at the launch of this update, if they had revealed a little bit more in the trailer when the game comes out i'll probably say if they just did a little bit more with the update itself then this stuff would have been acceptable but trying to milk money whilst you're not even releasing a full-on like update you're like drip feeding uh, like two-thirds of your mission type opportunities i just i don't agree with it as i said at the start of the video i will still be playing it but then they've gone, oh, in response to your feedback, because we listen to you, the skill and the satchel pamphlets previously released via the Outlaw Pass, such as unlocking the ability to fast travel from a wilderness camp, will be placed on general sale at the fence. Plus, over the coming weeks and months, some of the most stylish and oft-requested clothing items from Outlaw Passes number 2 and number 3 returned for players who were unable to obtain them, including outfits worn by the legendary members of the Vandalin gang, like Marston's outfit, and then there's a few others there as well. But how they're going to be released, we don't exactly know. They could go into the catalogue, cost thousands of dollars, they could cost gold bars, there's a couple of different ways Rockstar could do it. And knowing exactly what Rockstar are like and what they've done in terms of releasing content and stuff for this game, like how they've neglected the game pretty much since it first launched, I'm really unsure as to how this is going to go. But at the end of the day, we're just going to have to wait until this update drops on the 13th and see exactly what happens then. And on that note, we're going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.